Okay, so there's this TikTok trend. I feel like if you grew up in the early 2000s, this probably gives you a little bit of anxiety. And if you don't know why it's giving you anxiety, this is probably why. But Painted with Spencer made it absolutely beautiful and glamorous and like took that look and actually made it good. And I am drooling, so we have to try this. And we'll just hope that we don't come out looking like this. So here's the full Painted with Spencer video. Have you tried the reverse cat eye? It's my favorite. The main thing I'm concerned about with this look, other than coming out like a early 2000s queen, is that my eyes have a difficult fold on the outer edge, meaning that I have to like approach my winged liner very, very, very particularly. And I'm really afraid that this wing just like isn't gonna show up on me because I have to make them much thicker than most people in order for them to just look like a normal wing. So I'm worried that without being able to do that, since it's all on the bottom line, that it's not going to really like have the same effect. Or I guess it could potentially have the reverse effect since it's all on the bottom line. Maybe it'll be easier for me to do a wing. I don't know, it could go either way. I guess we'll just have to figure it out together. Check it out. I'm already getting black eyeshadow on me. So that's a great start. I'm gonna need something to help me get through this. It's just Olipop. You guys don't sleep on this. It's so freaking good and good for your digestion. Thank you. So it does look like he has a little bit, like just a little bit, like a light brown shadow going on in the crease. It doesn't even look like he has like any brown going on at the bottom, but he might have a little bit. And then he definitely has a little bit of a shimmer, like a soft shimmer, right? It's like only on the top of the corner, the inner corner. And then it's like, like it doesn't go in here, but it's like just on the top is what it looks like. Definitely some lashes. We're gonna need some lashes and I forgot to bring my lashes upstairs. It definitely looks like he has the water, the top water line and the bottom water line. But I mean, obviously the bottom, it just wouldn't be the same without the bottom, but he still has the top water line. So like inside on the top, that is definitely lined as well because that's part of what gives it like that super, like that. Why do we describe visual things with sounds? <laughs> shoo, <laughs> that shoo <laughs> look. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? That fierce, that almond, narrow, elongated eye. Oh, I'm so excited for this, but also terrified. Okay, I have nothing. All right, so what am I gonna need? I'm gonna need a, like a medium brown shadow. I'm gonna need a light shimmer. I'm gonna need a black pencil that's easy to smudge and then a black shadow, lashes, lash glue, mascara. I think that's it. All right, let's do this. Okay, so for the soft brown shadow, we're definitely gonna do the Modern Renaissance palette because we've got these two that we can play with and then this will be the perfect, that looks almost exactly like what he has on his eye. So that, that should be perfect. Mascara, I'm just gonna use my Dior Show mascara. That's just what I've been trying to use up lately, so we're using that. And I actually, these look really dramatic in the package, but I actually think that these are gonna be perfect, like just the perfect amount of drama yet softness. Like it's gonna give a little bit of fullness, but it won't be distracting. So I think I'm gonna go with these. And then of course, uh, my favorite, I've gone through so many of these, the Duo uh, Paint On Glue. And then the last thing that we need is a, like a really good, dependable, intense black shadow. Oh no, and we need eyeliner as well. For the black shadow, I definitely am going to use my Sephora Pro palette. Do not ever sleep on these. Okay, yeah, this one has a killer black in it. So we will do that guy. Oh my gosh, I found the perfect liner. This is exactly what I was looking for, but I didn't think I had any, but I have a little sample size of the It Cosmetics No Tuck. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. I have this backup of the Urban Decay 24 seven and zero. I probably won't need it. I'm sure this is gonna be plenty, but I'm just paranoid about everything. So here we are. Okay, 
So I have everything I need. Oh, so come in closer and let's, let's do this. Okay, so just starting with the lightest amount, I'm literally gonna take this warm taupe shade that I don't think I've ever used because we don't want it to look brown as far as I can tell. Like it's very, very subtle what he has going on, but there is, there's always a teensy bit of definition. It's kind of like the idea of like no makeup makeup, like it's there, but it you don't see it. So I'm just gonna try really hard not to go overboard with this. Am I already doing too much? Oh my god. Oh my god. See, I can't help it. It's like... La, 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 la. Okay, now to kind of like take that down a notch, I'm actually gonna take... Because it looks very elongated, but I feel like since we went through the crease a little bit... <laughs> Spencer, why isn't there like an in-depth on this? Come on. Since we took a little... A lot in the crease I'm just gonna because it almost looked to me like maybe you had a little bit of brown shadow like light brown all across the lid so because if you have like dark and then bright on the lid then it makes it feel more round rather than so hopefully this isn't a mistake I'm just going with the nothing that you gave us Spencer okay I'm calling you out Okay, I know that it looks like a lot right now, but I really think that once it's like in contrast with the the wings, it's gonna look like literally nothing. Okay, so we're definitely gonna do the shimmer as one of the last things because I don't want any shimmer to accidentally get on the black as I'm like smudging it. And then once the shimmer's in there, it's like, it's there. There's nothing you can do. Oh, why am I so nervous right now? <laughs> okay, let's just, Keep it easy, ladies. Keep it easy. Let's just start by lining our waterline. Easy. If you grew up in the early 2000s, you already know how to do this, okay? Like, we're already getting back to our roots. We've trained our whole lives for this. Okay, so now we just gotta start taking that under the waterline. Oh my god. I can do this. <sighs> ah. Okay, here we go. Ah. <laughs> ah, me. Okay, so now we gotta smudge before it sets. So, oh my god. Oh, I forgot to get, <laughs> I forgot to get a smudging brush and it's gonna set. Okay. Uh, <laughs> where's my smudging brush? No, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ladies. Have a smudging brush ready. I'm see. See, this is what I'm talking about. This right here, you wore makeup in the early 2000s. You know this. You know this right here. This was the look. Baddest biatch in town type of. Okay. So then we're supposed to like basically bring it out into a wing. But keep it low. Keep it low, ladies. Did not get cray cray. Did I just say cray cray? Did I really just say that? Okay, smudge, smudge, smudge. Very quickly. Ooh, ooh, mm. I feel like it does just need like a smidge, maybe of like brown. Let's do a, I have this dark, dark, dark brown in the modern renaissance, the cypress umber. And we're just gonna take that on the smudgy brush. And I'm basically just gonna like lightly connect it to This is what I'm talking about where it gets difficult for me because this freaking, the way that my lid folds here, it's looking good, but I feel like we, it's almost looking like a little bit rounded and I want it to be, I want it to be a little bit more like there's no roundness to give that, you know, I'm not going to do the sound effect again. You guys know, you know what? I feel like we can get there with the black eyeshadow. So let's get the black eyeshadow, guys. Okay. It's for my broken Sephora Pro palette. Expect nothing less from me. You guys, if you do not go over your liner with a black eyeshadow, you are missing out. Let me show you something I discovered myself. So look at this. Do you see how even though I filled in my waterline, like that skin that you're seeing right there is not my waterline. That is actually in between each lash. It's like this ridge that's like not the waterline. 
and not under the eye here. And it's so hard to get with your liner sometimes. So if you don't go over your, your liner, your lower liner with a black eyeshadow, you're missing out because watch the difference whenever I go in with that black eyeshadow and fill in what the liner couldn't get in between the lashes. Look at that. Looks like it just like brings it all together. Like it just makes such a big, like that one little thing takes your eyeliner from average to like, I'm a pro. I'm a pro and ain't nobody can do their eyeliner like me. And I know that we're eventually gonna make our way into this little inner corner here. So I'm just like literally bringing it in the tiniest amount. Okay, I feel like we need like a, like a dark brown to transition. It literally feels like I'm pulling this eyeliner halfway down my entire face. We're getting there, we're getting there. I feel like we need to intensify the wing, like under here is really intense, but this is not super intense. So what do we do? Should we do, I'm like trying to debate whether I should do a liquid liner or not. Ooh, ooh, smudgies. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna go walk down the red carpet, but pose on this side of my face the whole time because Lord knows I'm probably gonna make this jack this side up. So, I don't wanna take away from the smokiness that is in here, but I wanna make sure that the inner corners is really nice and sharp. So I'm just gonna take like the tiniest amount of liquid liner. I don't even know if this has any left in it. Let's find out. Ooh! Okay. Okay, that way it's nice and sharp. There's like a teensy bit of sharpness there, but it's still smoky. It's not taking away the smokiness. Okay, okay, okay. I see you, Spencer. Okay, it's still kind of freaking me out that we're so bottom heavy, but I do feel like I was right about the fact that like the bottom is so intense now that up here looks like literally nothing. So I'm actually going to intensify it a little bit. See, even that still looks like, I feel like I just put so much on and it looks like nothing on camera. Now we just have to match the other side. No big deal. Okay, so I guess this time I can intensify this side before I put the black on. I really won't know if that's the same until I have the black on because right now everything on this side just looks more intense. So I'm just gonna stop there and... Oh, frick, you know what I forgot to do? I'm gonna go back to this eye because I forgot to line the waterline on this one. Friggin' possessed face here for a second. Oh! Big booty Judy. Okay, this time we have our smudging brush at hand. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the black eyeshadow. Work it in between those lashes, ladies. Do not forget it, ever. Not just for this look, ever. Sometimes if like my lashes really don't wanna get out of the way with this, I go in with a liquid liner and just poke it in between the lashes. I'm really scared I'm not gonna have these balanced. So I'm going to look straight ahead and try to make sure I'm doing it at the same angle. Okay, I think that's, okay, I think that's good. Lightly mapped it out with this first. And now we'll go in with a little bit of, ooh, not that liner. That would be a bad idea. Just a little bit of pencil liner. Ooh, looking good, looking good. This has gotta be carried out further. Just like this one. Okay, okay. Okay. So I think we've got the angles good. I need more brown. I have brown on this side and I don't have any brown on this side. So try to soften some of those edges. Oh, you guys, whenever you see something like a black makeup look, a dark black smoky eye, and you think that there isn't any brown in there, you're wrong. The brown is always what makes it look Chef's kiss. My eyes are so red because I'm getting eyeshadow in my eyes. The vent is like blowing right in my eyes. I have contacts in. <laughs> Try to keep my eyes open, see my work. I feel like this one looks a little bit more fierce and this one's like, da, 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 da. 
On camera, I feel like this is like, ooh, fierce, like so intense. And then in person, I'm like, this is gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my God. I'm like so nervous the inner corners aren't gonna match. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Not perfect, but we're fine. Now it's time for mascara, I think. I think, I hope, I don't know. I'm already wearing a little bit, so. We aren't trying to like make the lashes look like anything crazy. Very, very soft. In fact, I'm thinking about cutting these in half, just doing like, like more towards the outer corner, like from the middle to the outer. I think I'm gonna do that. I think that makes perfect sense for this look. I just realized that I didn't have my necklace clipped on correctly and it just fell off at some point. Every time, I swear, every time I do some sort of intense black smoky eye, I always feel like I look like Smeagol. Well, whenever I'm fair. I actually wanted to be tan for this video, but my work schedule said no. I just wanna make sure that this isn't gonna be too much. I think it's gonna be perfect. Okay, I think it's gonna be pape. I hope I don't regret these lashes. I hope that they don't totally ruin this. Did I ruin it? Oh my God, did I ruin it? Did I ruin it? I don't freaking know. <laughs> First of all, you get back where you're supposed to be. Maybe I didn't ruin it. Maybe it's okay. But these lashes need a reapplication. <laughs> they want it to stick like a foot above where they were supposed to stick, so. Freaked out there for a second, but I think we're good. So, I believe, other than the lips, the last thing that we need to do is that teensy bit of highlight that he has just, like, just on the lid right there. So. I'm gonna take a little... Apparently I'm only using sounds to describe things today. I'm gonna take Vermeer from the Renaissance palette and I'm literally just gonna put it right there. So that's it for the eyes, but it's, I don't know, like something is feeling off to me. So I'm gonna try to intensify my brows a little bit because I feel like with all this intensity, they're kind of like just disappearing into the rest of my face. So I'm gonna try that, hopefully that works and I didn't just totally screw this look up. Okay, brows are complete. And I do think they helped. I think it just still feels incomplete because I need to do my lips. So let's do that. Now he had like this really beautiful nude on and I feel like that is just the perfect thing to do for this look. So I gotta go with it. There's only one lip. There's only one lip liner for the job for this guy I feel. And that's gonna be the KKW nude one lip liner. Such a freaking beautiful nude. Oh my gosh, I cannot with this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm gonna see if this NARS unlaced, it's like a velvet lip glide, if it's too light, let's see. Okay, let's do a little bit of Sephora Wee, color Wee, yeah. Mm, yeah. That's more like it. A gloss, we need a gloss. We need a gloss with stat. Dior. Mmm. Yes, juicy. That's what we're looking for. Why does this look so stupid right here? What is going on? I think we officially have success. You guys, seriously, like on camera, it looks so nice, like so sultry and like smoky and cool. And in person, it's like so intense. Okay, okay, the more I wear it, the more I'm like really loving it. Like, 
I just feel like, especially in person, like... So, I'm gonna be honest, I really felt like this was gonna take me back into the early 2000s in not a great way, but... I think it worked out and that it was totally worth it. I mean, I just feel like, like, let's do it. Like, why not? Like trends are, trends to me are, are not about like trying to push something out and, and shame people for like doing old stuff and stuff like that. It's like eventually, yes, trends become funny. Like you get to laugh with your friends about like, oh my gosh, remember when that was cool and blah, 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 blah. I don't know, in a way, I feel like that's, that tr it, trends are like just community bonding, you know? Like it's like a, a large mass of people all get to like get on the same train on something. As long as you don't take it too seriously, like those people that are just like, that judge other people for not being on trend or the people that judge trends, you know? Like at the end of the day, it's just, it's supposed to be fun. I don't think we should be using trends to go and buy a bunch of new products and like constantly try to keep up. If you feel like you have to like keep up with trends and it's like exhausting, then I feel like we're doing it for the wrong reasons. Like we just need to have fun. Like if you can get on the trend, get on the trend if you want to. If um, you don't want to, don't judge people who are getting on the trend and that are having fun with the trend, you know? So anyways, this is really fun. Uh, and what I really love about this look is that you probably have everything that you need. Black eyeliner, black eyeshadow, a little bit of shimmer, brown eyeshadow, mascara, and that's it. Like, and then three brushes. I used three brushes this entire time. A fluffy brush, a flat brush, and a little pencil shaped smudging brush. So that's that. You could always use your finger to smudge as well. You don't need any fancy brushes. So, oh, and then obviously I used a little bit of liquid liner to perfect some things, but that's not necessary to achieve. Look. So go out, try trends if you want to. If you don't, don't shame people that do. Come on guys, it's not that deep. Let's all just have fun with it. And speaking of trends, here is where I shaved my eyebrows off for the Fox trend and honestly loved it so much that I've kept up with it since. So check it out right there and I'll see you over there. Bye. You guys. Spencer has a tutorial. Remember at the beginning of the video where I said I wished he had a tutorial? He has a tutorial. <laughs> well, lucky you guys can go use the tutorial because I couldn't. <laughs>